Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I'm not muted now, am I? No, music stopped. I'm not muted. I am here. Right, I've started a bit early tonight for a couple of reasons. Mainly, I've moved everything to the conservatory in the house. So, I wasn't convinced that any of this was going to work. Uh, and secondly, I need to do an update about what we're doing in the second half of this season, which is a decision that's been brought about by the fact that obviously categories are getting a little bit skewed and our expectations of Zwift power, unfortunately, don't give us the flexibility that we, we were wanting. So I'll go into that in a second. Anyway, let's just say hello to some people. Hello, Shanti. Hello, Mike. Mike, sorry you can't make it tonight, mate. And um, thank you for your blind optimism that I'm gonna win this, <laughs> this D category race. Um, what I will say is I've gone from extreme cold in the shed to what actually now feels like tropical heat in this conservatory. The biggest contributing factor for that is that I didn't bring my aircon in here, which is what I use as a fan. So uh, it's uh, I've got this little USB fan up above my head. That's all I've got to cool me down. I would open that door, but everyone else in the house is moaning that it's too cold. So, but yeah, I'm too hot. <laughs> hey, Hoff, how you doing? Um, has the bird poo gone? Bird poo, what was the bird poo? I can't remember what that was about. Uh, Mike's hit his head. Yo, Kev, how you doing, mate? Uh, that will fall off. What, what is going on? Oh, on the roof, yeah, do you remember that, Darren? Wow, Darren, Jesus, yeah. It was, that's over, it, well, it was over there. Yes, it has gone, but yeah, it seemed to be one spot where, I don't know, a particularly large pigeon just seemed to lay his loads on uh, regular occasions. Uh, right, anyway, firstly, you will notice the lighting is shocking, so I will try and fix that for next time. The camera position is questionable, but might be okay with better lighting. The sound sounds very echoey in here at the moment, but I'm gonna try and fix that also, because I'm thinking I wanna keep this in here. It was so nice not having to walk all the way up the garden in my in my lycra to um, to do this swift race tonight. So I'm thinking I want to keep all this. And I haven't done any sim racing in here yet, but I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, so yeah, those are things to fix. Right, I've got two minutes twenty seconds to now try and explain what our plan is for the second half of this season. We can't adjust points in Zwift Power manually. We can't adjust leagues so I, I can't promote someone from say c to b and then allocate a certain number of points it was um it was something i thought we were going to be able to do and the main reason for going to zwift power by the way was really just to take the workload off everybody myself included um, i can't keep relying on people to put the time and effort into manually dealing with these these leagues because it is it does become a full-time job it's, it's hard work particularly for someone like me that doesn't know spreadsheets and things like that, how to make them automated, so everything was incredibly manual. Um, so anyway, what we're gonna do is a kind of strike system where I would encourage everybody, well, you, ha you have two choices. I would encourage you to stay in whichever category you started off in. And what we're gonna do, I haven't worked out the numbers yet, but for everybody that exceeds category limits for races other than the really short ones, there will be a time penalty added depending on how much you've exceeded that limit by. What I'm hoping is that'll only give me a handful of names at the end of each race where I can go into Zwift Power and manually add a time penalty in seconds or minutes or whatever it is. Like I say, I'm not, I'm, I've not decided on the numbers yet, but that's the idea. The other option is if you want to move to another category, do so and we will have to, you'll have to just do it, you'll start accumulating points in that new category, and then at the end of the season, we will take 50% of the points you had at the point you crossed over, and have to manually just add those in, but it, what they won't show until the league is completed, if that makes sense. Now, it might get tricky because we're only going on best 15, 15 races, if you see what I mean. So, personally, I'd rather everybody stayed in their category, and we, we apply the, a kind of penalty, a time handicap, basically, um, at the end of every race. Right, anyway, thank you for your turn, go. I better get, get, get ready. I'm not, oh, I'll just drop my glass. I'm not gonna blast off on this one, because 
these are always longer than you imagine they're going to be. I'd like to stay in a bunch, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I dropped a glove. I haven't put them on yet. I haven't put my head, uh, headband on. See, this is, this is how unprepared I am. It's all downhill, you're joking, aren't you? <laughs> you know me so well, Peter. Hey, Pingers, how you doing, man? Pingers, I've just seen your message in Steam and I will respond when I'm not on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> you hear what you want to hear, Darren. Hey, hey Kev's, Kev's back on. He dropped off by a couple of seconds there, I think. It's already painful, Pingers. Thanks anyway, mate. <laughs> by the way, my FTP went up by two, I think, last week. And I lost another two pounds. So I am now, although not in game, I'm just inside the 80s, the 80s for kilograms. I'm 89.8. So I've kept it at 90, in game. What's that? Oh, I didn't mean for that to be washed, sorry. Oh, yeah, it was a rag. I was using, <laughs> using it to clean something. Sorry, that was the missus. That's the other thing. We're gonna get lots of interruptions. Interruptions. I still can't say it. Interruptions, now that I'm in the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish Pete's was on the way. I do have a, there is a Chinese in the oven. That's what that beeping is, if you can hear it. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Joel. <laughs> That's true. It'd be easier for me to shout to her for an ambulance. <laughs> I have just died my bloody eye treatment though, so I'll congratulate myself now for having done a bit of weight loss because it's going to go back on with a vengeance very soon but hey ho I'd rather be able to see is the sound okay by the way because it sounds really echoey to me oh and this fan's doing nothing oh good thanks Mike Apart from the pinging microwave, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a bad thing as well. I can now smell my Chinese being taken out of the oven. Oh, it's acceptable for you, is it, Futurko? It's up to your standards. Hey guys, I was leading for a second there. Look, I am, look, look, first. All right, now I need to calm down. Get Emma to fan me. Not, not lightly. Em, hey, would you be all right if I open this door though at some point? No. Uh, no. Or could you open it in fact? No. Yeah. Come on, I need to get on this bunch. Just for a bit longer. Hey, Pickles. How you doing, mate? No, never, never any sympathy, Mike.
Hey, Thomas. Who's Rasheen Connerty? I recognise that name. Is she that blonde comedian? Oh, Mike, that's just cruel. Why would I, why would I want to hear that you've got five, five fans on remote? I really do, don't yeah. I'm boiling. Well, now it's because I forgot to bring my aircon in. That's why I use as a fan. That won't cool the room down. I just use the fan, the fan part. But I forgot to bring it in. So I've now got, you know that little USB fan you bought me? That's all I've got cooling me down. I'm not reading that out, Peter. <laughs> Should have stayed in the shed, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can't steer on here, pingers. Oh, well, you can, but I don't have the equipment to do steering on here. Otherwise, yeah, I'd be Valentino Rossiing it, knee down, apex in the corners. Hey, you, John. How the devil are you? Hope yourself and Ardith are doing well. Looking forward to Christmas. Enjoy Thanksgiving. Oh, I keep forgetting the power-ups. I've got a feather. Might as well use it. Oh, balls. Come on. It was, it was all or nothing really, Mike, because I used the PC. So I had to bring everything in here. Struggling to hold on now. Yeah, you're not wrong, Mike. Lightly, Thomas. I meant to do some earlier, but I was too busy. I really need to get some practice in. Be a good idea, Mike. Not sure my neighbours would appreciate it. I just can't stay with the bunch. Keep dropping off the back.
Oh, what about Spain, eh, Peter? Wow. I'm trying, Darren. I can't keep up with the, the speed changes. Yeah, they're gonna go now. Uh, they're gone. I'm gonna have to get my breath and try and grab whoever comes up behind. All right, so that bunch of Kev, Tor, Duncan, C. Jeffrey, it's Can Jeffrey. I can't call him. Uh, Kev, Shinko, I keep forgetting your first name as well. Sorry, dude. Uh, Strong, Callum, Gatsby, Vivian, all gone. Oh, it's just Joel behind. <laughs> oh, well. I'll be back there with you soon, Joel. Don't worry about that. I'm going to have to do the same. Just tap away. Next little descent, I think I'm going to open the door. Well, yeah, I don't want to get lapped, but because we're doing it snaggered, I don't think we can actually see them when they come anyway. Unless you mean get lapped by the people in the same category. I can't really breathe through my nose, Michael. <laughs> I'm really bunged up. <sighs> what did I do, about 6K with the group? That's not terrible. If you stay reasonably low, the camera won't see you. All right, while I'm just cruising, trying to get my breath, I'll try and explain again, for anyone that might have missed it, the idea for the second half of the season. <clears throat> for anyone other than the really short races where it's virtually impossible, for anyone that exceeds their category limit, there will be time penalties applied based on how much, how far above the limit they've gone. If uh, if you accumulate three time penalties, like with our strike system, you'll go into the next race automatically with a penalty. That way, everyone can stay in the categories they're in, racing with the people they're used to racing. If you would rather move up a category, just do it. And then at the end, we will work out what points you had at the time you crossed up or moved up. And we'll take half of those points and add them to whatever you accumulate in the higher category. I think I got that out. Looks like Dirk and Vivian 
have dropped off the main bunch. It is just those two though. Game, Schinkel, Tor, Stephen, Valadares, Murray, Jeffrey, Denton, Wiltshire. They're all up there still. Along with others I can't see. I am breathing out my ass, my ears, my eyes, my nose. It's breathing in that I can't do. <laughs> Don't want to tempt fate either, but the connection looks like it's been really solid as well. Which is very pleasing. Throw out some ride ons if I can. Oh, I can't keep my hands still enough to do it. Oh, I'm on a hill, gotta get back to me. Thank you, Jay Radford. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. All right, let's try this again. Just whoever I've managed to click on. If I haven't already given them a ride on, I'll try and do it now. My hands shaking all over the place. There's Keith in the lead. We're Kev in hot pursuit. Oh, this could be interesting. It's all the same people I'm kicking on. Come on. Does anyone know you're a cycling god in spandex or is that the spandex god? <laughs> um, she's impressed by very little that I do especially anything cycling related or spandex related. It couldn't be more boring for her, me talking about cycling, or more repulsive for her, me squeezing into a spandex that's far too small for me. Hey, thanks Trilkey. Cheers buddy, hope you're well. I think there's only one subject that I can talk about to Emma that's more boring than cycling. That's sim racing. Yeah, well she did pretend once and basically gave me a, a limitless budget to go and do what I wanted and uh, with my Mont Ventoux trip coming up. So, she, uh, she did a good job then. If she could pretend like that again, with some sim racing stuff, that'd be lovely. Or a mountain bike. <laughs> Shanti, how was your day in the office? Hey, Trilkey. Thank you, mate. Predictably, I am uh, way off the bunch. It's myself and Joel, who I can't see on my timing screen at the moment, fighting out for last place. My wife smiles and listens to my sim stories. She's very sweet. <laughs> yeah, Emma struggles to, struggles to pretend. Hey, Joel's still here. 
Good man. Yeah, because we're sort of on different parts of the track, it's showing you as 127 ahead of me in a moment, Joel. Oh, you're just backing from work, are you? Yeah, this was a bit early for a few people, I think, tonight. Oh, Joel's a minute and a half back. Hey, that'll get exciting in this second half, I reckon, Joel. Killed me, I had to crawl under the floor and hold up a... What's a 40U cab? Is that like a big server unit? I'm not built for physical activity. <laughs> Just going out kills me. The idea of going out the house, I'm not built for that. This last couple of days actually, I think uh, have been more physically active for me than I've been in ages. Moving this stuff from the shed to here. My garden's quite long, so it's anything heavy, it's not a case of being able to pick it up, grit your teeth and make a little dash to the door. It's, a, it's quite a long walk, so I had to <laughs> quite comically I had to load my sim rig virtually in one piece, excluding the actual seat, onto a wheelbarrow, a really rusty old wheelbarrow, and wobble my way down the garden, trying to keep it balanced, and then into the house. And then the same going back the other way with a sofa that was in here. I had to put that on a wheelbarrow back up the other. Floor to ceiling, server rack. Oh my God, Shanti, you're a stronger man than me. Pingu's wife likes to drive Euro truck too. City car driving a BMW, that's wicked. Maybe now my rig's in here, Emma will get tempted to have a go. Hey, Monsieur Stead. Thank you, my friend. I know you're Dutch, so I don't know why I did that in French. <laughs> With a manual gearbox because she's getting a license. That's wicked. Peter strained his groin do doing that sort of thing the other day. What? <laughs> do doing what? Driving a Euro truck? <laughs> uh, lifting, lifting furniture, I'm guessing. When I say hold it up, I mean tip it an inch or so. <laughs> hey, mate. Don't downplay what an inch is. One inch might as well be nine, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you, Mr. Shinko. Oh, we're getting bloody lapped. There we go. Oh, I'm not gonna hear the end of that, am I? Lifting furniture. Rearranging or moving, Peter? <laughs> Yeah, he should be locked up, Thomas. If he strained his groin watching Wednesday. Serious questions need to be asked. Imagine straining your groin by playing Euro Trucker 2. Well, if it was like real world distances and you're doing like multi-day driving across Europe, I would imagine there's plenty of opportunities to strain a groin or two. <laughs> Rearranging, cool. <laughs> How are things anyway, Peter? I'm not, I don't think I've spoken to you properly for a while. Not that now's the place to really speak properly, but just checking you're all right, dude. Not a fan of the cold weather. <laughs> I'd never mind the cold, as long as it's dry and bright. There's a lot to be said in my mind for crisp blue winter days. It's going to snow for a week here. Where are you, Estonia? Does it snow properly over there, Pingers? <sighs> I 
Yeah, that's why I imagine. We've had some, some pretty big snowfalls, but it does tend to be, if it settles and it's more than a centimetre deep, we get like a severe weather warning. Everyone crashes. Everyone shuts the offices and schools. People hoard food, like bulk buy, thinking they're never gonna be able to get out of their houses again. And then within 24 hours, it's just like a wet slush. Hey, Steve. I'll give you one guess of where everybody else is, Steve. <laughs> Ah, a nice one, Steve. Just in time for the, uh, the Von 2 race at the weekend. <laughs> Crisp, fresh snow is okay. It's when it gets damp and humid, yeah. It's horrible when it's just that dirty slush. Hey, Mr. Fraser, cheers, buddy. All ah, right, so you have like a downpour and then it's so cold that it freezes really quickly. Is that right? <clears throat> Frozen dirty slush, yep, yeah, beautiful. Uh, will they catch me again? Well, yeah, they're moving as fast as they were at the beginning, I think, in a bunch, so it took them well, how long was it? About, I got over halfway, I think, before they got me. So, possibly. Depends if I can up the pace at all. I'm trying to see who's ahead of me, because I'm holding the gap with Joel at the moment. So I'm thinking it's Vivian and Dirk that are ahead of me. Uh, they're still putting out more power than me. All right, so I'm not gonna catch them. Yeah, definitely, Steve. I wasn't taking any new registrations after round five, mainly because if you've missed five rounds, then you won't feature in the final standings anyway, or if you miss any more than five rounds. Um, but 100%, I make an exception for you so you can just join the event, get yourself back up to speed, just join the races. It'd be great to have you. I want a frozen ice, it's like rocks. I'm hoping we get full on Swedish style snow this year. So I can try and put into practice what I've been learning in WRC. <laughs> Although there don't seem to be any complaints when I bounce off everything in WRC might not be so well received in real life. No, definitely not winter tyres. I've got the most standard crap road tyres you can imagine. Thank you, Mr. Durham. Ah, oh, that'd be great, Steve. Just to get you in some races would be brilliant. Oh, I'm getting a stitch. No, it's true. Some well-worn, old, virtually slick summer tyres in the snow, that's what you want. Hey Mick, how you doing? Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Rink's struggling. <laughs> Are you in the front group still, Rink? 
Oh, nice. Keep going, dude. Oh, well done. Finish fourth, that's brilliant. Yeah, cheers, Steve. Take care, mate. Always great to see you. <laughs> You're too kind, Maverick. I'm 14th out of 15 and struggling. Hey, thanks, Chris. And whoever else, Percy. Cheers, dude. These are all the guys that have finished their race now. I've still got five and a half K to go. <laughs> hey, Velo. Right, I'm going to bet Velo Viking won the Sea Cat tonight. He's got a hunch. Despite having had COVID quite recently. I used to love this race, the Critty Critty Bang Bang, and this course the other way around. But it's one where it's only enjoyable if you, you think you're in quite good form. Because you can do it one or two ways. You sort of sit back at a decent pace and kind of like negative split it, build up and start picking people off. But you need to be strong to do that. Or, you're strong enough to stay with the bunch. And I think I had a couple of occasions where I was strong enough to do that. But if you're not on the top of your game, then uh, it can just be a very lonely trudge around. Cheers, Steve, by the way. Hey, Andy, how you doing, man? No, this is not eye racing. This is just hot, sweaty, Got a stitch and my bum's aching racing. Thank you, 4SG Bombers. <coughs> yes, yeah, a new eyes racing patch. Hey, Martin, how are you, man? Great to see you. How are you feeling? And how did you do if you raced? Oh, glad to hear it. Get yourself well for the Christmas break. Sick, nice. Good boy. Are you joking? <laughs> well, I've dropped a glove. Doesn't really, doesn't really compare. Andy, you won. Dude, what was that, a sea cat? Danger mouse, you got to what? <laughs> Oh God, who's Danger Mouse again? Oh, Danger Mouse, identify yourself. I'm getting terrible with this. My brain's a bit mushy. <laughs> you got last. Well, we could well match each other here, Danger Mouse. First in the A's. Andy, Jesus. I'm losing track of who's where in these categories. Trick. That's who Danger Mouse is. God's sake. Of course it is. Went off the front second lap with one other. Bloody hell, and held it from there. Jeez. Good job, man.
<laughs> Ring, stay down there as long as you need to, dude. Don't rush it. Martin and you other guys in the higher categories, I'll say again what I said earlier, which is the, the big reshuffle for the second half of the season. We're gonna flip the table upside down, so if you're first, you're last. No, I'm joking. <laughs> what we're gonna do, because it is virtually impossible to operate the usual strike system or even the promotion system with Zwift power. I mean, you can just promote yourselves and start from scratch points wise, but it's virtually impossible to carry the points over unless we add them at the end of the season, which is an option if you want to do that. The other option is you can stay in the category you're in, even if you feel you should be higher now. And for every race where you exceed the category limits, there will be time penalties added, depending on how far over the limit you go. If you do it three times, so effectively the three strike rule, you will go into the following race after your three strikes, carrying a penalty automatically. I haven't worked out exactly what the time penalties are, but could be something like, say, uh, this is straight off the top of my head. So say it's a, I don't know, 2.5 watt category limit, and you complete the race at an average of 3.5, maybe you get uh, 90 seconds added or something like that. And if you do it by, I don't know, 0.7 of a watt a minute added or something like that. It's, well, not really because it's basically keeping people where, where they started, but mixing them in. It's basically just a handicap system within the category. So if you're right at the front of the C's every week, but you're over category limit, it's just gonna bring you back, hopefully if we can get the numbers right, back in amongst the, uh, the other guys in the same category. So it's really just to keep you racing with the people you've been racing with. Um, and short of being able to give people head starts, which I'd love to be able to do, if for example, I don't know, Velo Viking absolutely smashes the category limit in one race. I'd love to be able to put it in there somewhere where he starts a minute after everyone else and has to catch him. But those functions aren't available to us. It's like a seaside, I think I've got a strike already. <laughs> yeah, Keith, you, I've been lenient by letting half the season go. Quite a lot of you would already be going into the following races for like 10 minute penalties. <laughs> I think I'll be a B cat by end. We've last every race averaging three watts a kilo now. Nice. Is that your heart rate, pick, uh, Maverick? Or was that Pickles at 197? Either way, whew. Ah, uh, fair enough, Keith. Obviously, we won't be able to apply it to the really short races. Just to reiterate as well, the reason for this is quite simply that manually adjusting anything is with power, apart from adding time penalties, is virtually impossible. So there, I haven't found a way of being able to move someone from say a C to a B and then update the league table on Zwift power to carry over any points. So and I, the absolute last resort is to go completely manual again, but I can't, I don't have the time to do that. It's such a laborious task and I, I refuse to lean on others this time because everyone that's helped me previously, which I've been so grateful for, have soon realized it's a pain in the ass. 
it's just, it's just hard. And the trouble is you're never gonna satisfy everybody. I think that's the biggest problem with this. There will always be some that like an idea and as many that don't. And which is kind of why we don't put these things to a so an open discussion too much because we just won't ever get anywhere. So you're all free to, to hate me for it, for it, but as a compromise between handicapping the people that should probably now have been promoted and not having to make this a completely manual system, which will be slow and probably inaccurate and time consuming, uh, this is the best solution I could come up with. Exactly, uh, exactly Patrick, but I know people do it for different reasons and I, because I just do it for exercise and a lot of us do for fun, uh, that's to take nothing away from the people that take it a lot more seriously. I know if I was better and fitter, I would, I would take it a lot more seriously and the results and leaderboards would mean a lot more to me. It's easy for me to sit here and, and think, do you know what, actually, I'm gonna come last, second to last in every race. Oh, I finished. Have I? What? Was that the end? I didn't even notice. <laughs> that can't be right, because I've come seventh, apparently. What happened there? Oh no, 17th. My chat box is covering up half the text. Oh, 47th. <laughs> it wasn't even 17th. 47th. Um, so yeah, for those that take it more seriously and that's their motivation, you know, I absolutely applaud that and want to accommodate that as much as I can. Um, but I think, um, unfortunately the Zwift power setup doesn't work with what our ideals were for a league, which is to have an element of flexibility and fun and try and mix it in to be a bit more social, which is why we had the strike system rather than just disqualifying anyone that goes over the limits. But I chose with power for just convenience and speed and laziness. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, that's where we are. So, oh. next, next season have a single, let me scroll up a bit. Next season have a single category and just go for it. Yeah, see, I wouldn't mind that, but I think Zwift Power causes problems with that. And as we've had many, many discussions in the past, the faster guys like staggered starts so that we don't interfere with each other's races and, and whatnot. So like I say, it will never be perfect for everyone. Uh, no one hates you, you'll get promoted to A's instantly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, it's done, good job. Thanks, Pingu, you, you spotted that before I did. <clears throat> I'm off the ground, where's my beer? I do not have any beer in the house rink. Can you believe that? I'm gonna to have to crack open a bottle of wine that I found in the shed. Uh, well done, dude, that was brilliant. Thank you, mate. Uh, whoop whoop indeed, Chilky. That was a very asthmatic whoop whoop. <laughs> but thank you, mate, yeah. Finished. Apparently I beat Maxim Golev. <laughs> uh, don't know how that happened, but I'll take it. This is weird that we're getting all the results on one thing again. Or is, oh no, look, hang on, I can do that. Right, okay, so, right, here we go. Andy Tage indeed did win overall in the A's. Jesus, man. Well done, followed by P. Heron and B. Fletch. Hey, Fletch, well done, man. That's, was that your first race in that category? Surely not. Mick Capel just outside the podium, good job. Then we've got Kirk Haug, Henriksen, Ars Hansen, Golev, who, Ah, oh, that's why he's had a, some kind of dropout, some 10 minutes off. Um, so that's your top eight in the A's. Uh, let's go to the B's, which should be the C's, I think. Yep. Yeah. Hey, I called it. Velo Viking with the win. Rink, you got third, dude. You're on the podium, man. I thought you said you got fourth. Bloody hell, mate. And you beat the prop monster by two tenths of a second. Wow. Look at that gap at the front, look. So 31, 21.3. So then four tenths to Martin in second. Another two tenths to Rink in third. Another two tenths to Martin Prop in fourth. Identical time to Martin Overweg. And then only another one tenth to Hans. Another tenth to, Jesus. The 
look at this. So, identical times for the two Martins. One tenth Somerson, another tenth Copping. Five tenths Plasma. Identical time to Coveney. One tenth Pocock. One tenth Hanson. Two tenths Bailey. Jeez, identical to Lenkapel. One tenth Duncan. Two tenths, oh my God, I'm gonna run out of breath. This is a big group, and look at this bunch. I mean, there's like the biggest gap, Davis to Blomberg. And that's only a second. Wow. Pickles is there. Well done, dude. And Patrick. Well done, man. Catherine. Hal. Jean David. Jack. I th I'm sure I'm missing our names. I shouldn't do this because I miss people out. Um, right, so that was the C categories, and this is the D's, obviously, where the main event is. Steve Game. Good job, man. Oh. Inside category limits as well. <laughs> Great stuff, I think. I don't even know what the categories are. Uh, so Steve, Keith, Kev, Shinkle, Jeffrey, Tor. So what's the podium? Keith, Keith and Kev, second and third, with Steve taking the win. Then Shinkle, Jeffrey, Tor, Wiltshire, Murray, Strong, Valadares in your top ten. Well done, guys. That's brilliant. Callum, Gatsby, Vivian, myself, and then Joel. Well done, guys. 1.7 for me. I'm quite pleased with that over a 43-minute race. That's that's progress, I think. Um, excellent stuff, everyone. Uh, right. Patrick's happy with the last last 274. 274 watts for over half an hour working towards three watts kilogram. That's brilliant, mate. No big names, but I'll take it. Dude, a win's a win. There were some big names in there anyway. What are you talking about? Maverick. Nice one, Danger Mouse. Yeah, everything went black. <laughs> I'll see. Yeah, you beat hands. <laughs> and that's exactly how you should celebrate a win, is with the finger for Hans Peter Summerson. Mr. Staggered. <laughs> yeah, great stuff, Rick. Sorry, I'm happy. <laughs> You have come from bloody far, mate. You were in the D's at the start of this. I mean, you'd be the prime example of somebody getting, carrying over loads of time penalties. <laughs> uh, out to Brian. Well done, mate. Is that, is that really Brian? Surely that's not Brian Duez. Good to see you, mate. Uh, yeah, well done, guys. Thank you, Mike. Did you get your Porsche under control for tomorrow? I haven't even tried it yet, Mike. I really wanted to do some testing earlier, but didn't have a chance. But I'll, um, I will get up early and do a little bit tomorrow. Got to beat you in that. <laughs> if I can't beat anyone in a Zwift race, I'm determined to at least succeed in some sim racing. Uh, late home from work, had to miss this. Now climb the Von Top. Yeah, man, bring it on. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure I'm ill slash working slash uh, internet failure something that actually what day is that just this is genuine is it saturday shit hang on a second is it saturday or sunday that race this is genuine you're gonna see it live me oh it's all right it's 10 30 in the morning oh okay right i can make it and it's on is that saturday or sunday sunday oh even better right that's fine yep <clears throat> no worries just, I know I'm tied up on all day on the Saturday, so, uh, well, not all day, from about lunchtime onwards, so, perfect. And Dan, I thought I could actually get out of that one live on stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, the next race is on Sunday at 10.30 a.m. UK time. <clears throat> and for you, you are doing Von Top. For anyone in the Ds, you are doing the... I can't remember what it's actually called, but it's basically Von 2, but only up to Chalet Reynard. You don't have to do that final five, six kilometers or whatever it is of climbing. Actually, is it that much? Maybe it's not even that long, but anyway. Uh, thank you for confirm well, confirming the day, guys. Appreciated. Yeah, Brian, you're gonna cruise up there. Um, oh, oh Laren, that's the one. Um, you only know that because there's a pizza named after it, isn't there? Right, oh yeah, strangely kind of enjoyed that, which is, really odd next time i will definitely have the air conditioning in here so i'm properly cooled um 
hopefully some better lighting. Actually, it'll be 10.30 in the day, so it'll be nice and bright in here anyway, so. Ah, right, that's it. <clears throat> Everything I've said, I will reiterate in a post in the Facebook group for anyone that doesn't watch the streams or missed it, uh, with regards to the, the time. I don't want to call them penalties, because they're not really. It's like a time... Let's call them presents. Let's give, I'm going to give you like a nice time present or a nice time gift in the Christmas spirit. Uh, it doesn't count for this race or anything that went before it. It's from the second half of the season, so stage 11 onwards. Um, so yeah, I reiterate it all in a, in a post in the group anyway. <coughs> and that leaves, just leaves me to say thank you very, very, very much for watching, for racing and for chatting. And I hope you all had a good day and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your evening. Has the football started? Yeah, it started at seven, didn't it? Right, let's go and watch that. All my cycling knowledge is from a Kraftwerk song. <laughs> yeah. Did they actually say, I know they, they got, um, did they actually say anything about Lorraine in that song? <laughs> they probably do. I would trust Peter to know that as well. He'd know all the lyrics. I can't even remember what the song's called. Is it called Tour de France? Um, right, anyway, I'm wrapping up. Um, <clears throat> yeah, thanks again. Well done, everyone. Well done to the winners. And I will see you all in France on Sunday. Au revoir.